guys and welcome back to another vlog i'm sydney if you're new here we're just getting the day started as you've seen i just did an hour on the treadmill doing some emails and some computer work and now i'm about to pack a little lunch i'm gonna go to a coffee shop get some work done and then i'm gonna go to a workout class at one o'clock so we're gonna have a productive little day it is a tuesday right now and i just got back uh two days ago on sunday night i got back from cleveland so i was visiting my mom and we have a week at home so i figured i would just do a little home vlog and take y'all through the next couple days going to do a couple hard-boiled eggs i I've always grown up doing it on the stove top, but this is like the easiest thing ever. You just put the eggs in there and you use this to pop a little hole in the top of them. And then you fill up this to where you want your egg to be. So if you want it to be like soft boiled or super hard boiled, then you can fill up with that amount of water, pour it in the bottom, and then you just start cooking. Going to do a little, ooh, steamy. I always grab my hot eggs with my nails so I don't burn my fingers. <laughs> and then put them into a little ice bath. I'm also gonna bring some ground turkey and avocado. Here's my cutie little lunch box. I already put a napkin, a fork, and a little ice pack in there. All right, lunch is all packed. Got my bag packed with all my different things that I need. Laptop, a couple things I need to take to the post office, and I'm gonna head to Shortwave and knock out some work. It's a little coffee shop in Tampa, as long as they have seats inside. Sometimes it's packed in there and I am not sitting outside. It's 85 degrees. Sometimes I'll do it. Not happening today. So we might have to coffee shop hop if they don't have any spots. Made it to the coffee shop. I'm gonna knock out some work at Shortwave today. I'm hoping that they have some spots in here because it just gets so busy. When I lived in Tuscaloosa in Alabama, uh, I had a coffee shop that I'd go to every single day. I literally went to Heritage House. They had a couple locations. I went every single day and would work there. And I just have not found a coffee shop that I'm just overly obsessed with here. And that's hard for me because I would love to just like not have to think about where I'm gonna go and just be like, okay, that's my spot. When I was at Heritage House, I they knew my order. I knew all the workers there. I knew exactly what spot I liked sitting in. And it just felt like an easy routine here. I feel like the coffee shops are kind of lacking. Like there are 
a decent amount, I guess I would say, but like nothing that I'm obsessed with. And also like I do like shortwave, but it gets so busy in there. I would say that this is probably my favorite one that I have gone to. I'm gonna knock out some things that I have on my checklist. I've got two hours until I have my workout class. So I'll do two hours of work and then I will head to Hyde Park, which is where Salad Core is. I've been using the heck out of this APL tote because I can just fit so much stuff in there. knocked out lots of work which I'm feeling really good about time to go get a little workout in which I'm antsy to get some movement in so I'm excited about that but I just did a couple hours at the coffee shop I found the perfect spot I always like when I can get that spot right there because if I have a back or if I have a chair that doesn't have a back and I'm just like crouched over the entire time I don't last very long in there so I had the spot that I like knocked out so much it literally did not touch my phone one single time the entire time i was in there and just was on my computer working away i have lots of new clients i opened up new coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching yesterday for october november december and january so i was going through all of the girls who have bought coaching and got all of my october girls ready anyone who sent their initial intake form did all of their workout programming. I think I got four girls done during that time, which I know it does not sound like I got much work done, but it does take a while because everything's individualized. So I got four of my October girls taken care of. And then I also sent emails to anyone who is starting in November, December, or January that put in their initial intake form and just let them know that I got it, kind of what they can do in the meantime until we get started and so on and so forth. Probably not that exciting to listen to, but I feel good about that I'll continue to work when I get back from my workout class but right now a little midday workout I also only drink like half of my coffee I got like just one shot of espresso in it and I'm like I'm just gonna have a little bit of it a little uh, vanilla latte with oat milk and I feel jittery literally from half a cup of coffee I don't even think I finished half of it which is ridiculous I'm just so sensitive to caffeine and I know that but I wanted some energy for my midday workout and now I just feel antsy like we know better Sydney we know better for the espresso machine at home I got decaf coffee so that's super good because we don't need to be antsy or jittery These are my hack right here. I have them in the oven right now and I have ground turkey going. These veggies are so freaking easy. If you want to have like an array of veggies, this has Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red and yellow bell peppers, red onions, and they're just in olive oil, Himalayan pink salt, and some pepper. And they're so good. I just throw them either on the stove top or in the oven. I feel like I've been liking the oven lately. And I probably would not go through and like chop up all these veggies on a normal night. If I want something just quick and easy. I got these at Sprouts, but I know that you can get the big bags at Costco as well. got a spray tan so I'm marinating in that right now and I'm gonna put away some laundry I'm gonna be careful not to get any <laughs> spray tan on anything but the laundry needs to be done
having my chocolate element packet right now and I put it in milk. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Having it in milk is such a game changer. This is the first time I had just the chocolate salt one. I normally do the caramel one. I love it. It literally tastes like I'm drinking hot cocoa, especially with the milk. Look what I got. This cute little Halloween puzzle. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. I'm realizing I'm not very skilled in the puzzle department. I know you're supposed to like stir with the outside border, but I'm like, wait, that's going to be so hard because it's all the same color. And so I started with like trying to put together the these two right here. And then I also started putting together just like this section and this section right here. But I think that I need to go back to the whole border way and then go from there because this is a thousand pieces. Like this is a lot of pieces. Okay, it's about time for bed. I'm about to do some magnesium. We've been watching the show on Netflix. Nobody wants this. It's so cute so far. I'm loving. I think we, they're like 20 minute episodes. They're so short. So I think we're on episode three already. I kind of gave up on the puzzle for tonight. And we just laid there and watched a new show. I love when it's not football night and we can actually sit and watch a show and there's not football on until literally 11 p.m. I think I'm gonna give myself a, a double scoop of magnesium tonight. This is the cherry mint mojito kind. morning you guys i've been up for a little bit i woke up like an hour before my alarm so i already did my babel study already had my bone broth unloaded the dishwasher had my pre-workout snack i've been excited because we ordered some spring line coffee beans this was gretchen's recommendation i forget what one that she recommended but i ended up getting the port side pumpkin one it's pumpkin nutmeg and cinnamon of course we need to make a little pumpkin coffee but these ones are not like the whole beans i made a mistake and ordered the ones that were already ground up so i'm just gonna weigh this out and we're just gonna hope for the best we're still figuring out this rebel it's been a couple weeks and we're still figuring it out but i'm told that you want to use a food scale and not just eyeball anything oh this is gonna make a mess i can already tell you oh okay let's use this Don't take lessons from me for the Breville yet, okay? Soon? Maybe. Okay, 18 grams, that's what I'm told. No. Let's cross our fingers that I can do it right this time. Come on. Come on. This is driving me nuts. It's literally driving me nuts. What the frick? I'm trying again. Third time's a term.
Turn as you lower your legs, your lower back doesn't start to lift off of the mat. Squeeze the block. Squeeze the block. Good. Hands behind your head. Keep this going. Day three. Day two. And one. Knee. Flex your toes. Big inhale. Exhale. You're going to curl your chin to your chest. So you're going to move at your old pace. 30 seconds here. This is a reset of your spine. Home from my workout, I'm about to make a couple hard boiled eggs. And while I make those and get those started, I'm gonna have a little protein shake. This is one from Factor. I literally love all of their stuff. This is a cold brew latte. It has 18 grams of protein, 110 milligrams of caffeine. Beautiful. Oh, they're so good. I love them so much. I love their pressed juices as well. I didn't get those this time, but I did get some meals. Might have one of these for lunch later. I have blackened chicken, red chili chicken thighs, and tamale. And I got one other kind too. I got two of each. And the peanut Buddha bowl. If you've never heard of Factor, they are fresh, never frozen meal preps. We are obsessed with them. So if you've been here for a bit, then you've definitely heard me talk about them. And I love that they have other options rather than just the meal prep. Things like the protein shakes, the juices. I think I've gotten wellness shots from there a couple times as well. And they're the best meal prep ever. You literally just pop them and they're like good portion sizes too. You just pop them in the microwave. Wow, this one looks really good. I've never had the peanut Buddha bowl before. Yum, looks like you got some quinoa in there or something. And they're one of like the only meal preps that I feel like literally tastes like a home cooked meal. I think it's because a lot of meal preps taste like they are a meal prep and they're frozen and they just taste like kind of one of those like TV dinners. Sometimes I'll just spruce it up, put it on a plate, make it look like I just cooked a whole home cooked meal. But I love that they have no prep and no cleanup. So easy if you go to the office as well and they have so many different options. They have ones that are more protein packed if you're a vegetarian, vegan, the calorie smart ones, lots of options. But for now, since I just got done with my workout, we're gonna stick to a protein shake and a couple hard boiled eggs. But thank you so much Factor for sponsoring today's YouTube video. As always, I will have this in my description box. You can go to factor75.com slash Sydney Adams and you get 50% off your Factor box and then 20% off your next month's Factor box as well. Thanks so much Factor. Big fans over here, as y'all know. Yum. For some reason, we can't figure out how to change. Like it never ends up working, changing our TV screensaver, but it will randomly do some cute ones. I just asked Jay, I'm like, did you put that up there? How cute is that for the fall time, Halloween time? But we need to figure it out because for some reason it just never lets us upload our own artwork for it. I love the frame TV though. I think it just looks so good in our living room. Also, it's obviously spinning right now, so kind of hard to see. Hopefully it doesn't make you dizzy. We got a fan in our living room. It looks so good. I just feel like it brings the whole space together and then this week we're actually getting our entertainment center. Also don't mind that, Jay's about to be painting that area over there. It has been a very computer work heavy type of a day. I need to move my body, holy cow. I've been sitting here since pretty much since I got home from my workout class and it's 6.02 right now and I still have quite a lot I need to do. And this would be why I don't do as many like day vlogs and as many like morning and night routines um just because i spent a lot of my day at a computer which is why i just show you guys a little bit more of the exciting stuff i guess i would say um throughout my days but the reality of it is that this is a big chunk of my time so i'm gonna kind of time block the rest of my night i am going to get some food in me since it's already dinner time i'm gonna eat a little something put away some clothes in my closet and then spend an hour on the treadmill, knock out the remainder of my work for tonight, and then we're probably gonna watch our show. So that's exciting, but just wanted to check in with you guys. Still, we're still kicking over here. I honestly might even make some pumpkin muffins. Maybe we're being a little bit ambitious since it's already six o'clock, but I'm like in the fall mood, so maybe I'll do that tonight as well. Right now, I'm continuing to do onboarding. I'm like emailing, asking, answering any questions that clients that are starting on Monday have for me and just making sure everything's taken care of for that. 
and that is pretty time consuming so I probably will be doing that in the remainder of the week a lot of each day just because when I have clients that have already started like it's always the initial startup of things and getting everyone onboarded that takes the longest and making sure everyone kind of can flow through training easily I guess I would say so let's finish this get some food in us and then we'll go down with our night about to make some pumpkin muffins I'm feeling up to it and I'm gonna do it before I go on the treadmill and just get them started I actually think I have some muffin liners I guess they're cupcake liners My go-to is always Simple Mills. It's just so much easier. I always just get anything Simple Mills off of Thrive Market when I do my Thrive orders. And I just ordered another box. I literally just placed my order and I ordered another box of the pumpkin muffin and bread mix. I am loving all things pumpkin. All I need, eggs, water, and oil. Can you grab me that um, bowl, please? in the olive oil. <laughs> Multitasking right now because I'm also making my dinner. Oh, hot. Got my veggies out of the oven. I'm literally having all of those with my dinner. <laughs> Time to do a little taste test. Jay said that they're literally so good. Oh yeah, those are good, babe. Wow. Mmm. show here with you. I can't even see it took my contacts out, so hopefully you can see me. But we decided against doing the photo up here and I think that we might do this because it's more of a matte, like it's a canvas, it's matte. So when we have our light come through that window up there, it won't look so crazy. And I think that that would look really nice right there. It's like the perfect size. And we need to start putting in some towels right here. Because we literally never do. I just feel like the hand towels don't look that cute right there. Maybe we need nicer hand towels because they're just like some old dingy ones. But maybe if we got like, I don't know, we need to figure something out. Like maybe even like a full size towel and then like put a small towel on top of it. I need to look at Pinterest to see because it just doesn't look cute like that, you know? I think that canvas is going to look really nice. Maybe Jay will put it up tomorrow.
Holy cow. Oh my gosh, I feel so freaking good. That was such a good workout. I just did uh, 60 minutes on the Stairmaster. I have not done scheduled cardio and like actually done a cardio session in so long. Let's not touch my hair before putting on hand sanitizer. Sydney, that's disgusting. What did I do with my hand sanitizer? Ah! Okay, here it is. I have not done a cardio session outside of just doing walking on the treadmill and doing work in at least since before the wedding and even before the wedding I was hardly ever doing Stairmaster. I work out a lot at home and then when I was at the gym quite frankly I just like didn't have the willpower to do Stairmaster and so I just would do like walking on the treadmill. I would walk outside a lot and I just feel like a Stairmaster session where you can like push yourself out of your comfort zone is so good. Cause honestly, when I'm walking on the treadmill, I walk at like a 2.5 speed to a three speed. And yes, like it's long distance and stuff, but every once in a while getting myself into a little bit more of a challenging cardiovascular workout. Ugh. Guys, I feel like I'm like on this high. So I don't know, I feel really good. A little update. In case you're wondering some people ask I guess like I know leading up to the wedding I wasn't necessarily like I definitely leaned out I um, was very intentional about like tracking my macros um, I've done this in the past for quite some time but if I don't have like something that I'm like working towards necessarily then I kind of sit in maintenance and that's just kind of where I feel good so I was in a deficit for a while kind of got to where I wanted to be maintained through the wedding felt really good at my wedding and then I never like being in a deficit for too long it had been like a long time since I had done like an intentional cut to be honest um, and stuck to it for a while so I never liked to stay in a deficit for too long if you don't track macros if you don't aren't in like the tracking fitness world this is probably just jibber jabber to you but I have been in a surplus since my wedding and just gradually increasing my intake for eight weeks yesterday was two months since the wedding which is insane and having a little bit more strength for my workouts have more energy and I just felt really good. For me personally, when I'm in a deficit, I wanna be at the highest amount I can possibly eat while still being in a deficit just to help maintain energy levels, strength, and not be hungry all the time. So I honestly felt really good throughout even all of the wedding stuff. I never really complained about energy levels or felt like I was on the slow, but when you are in a deficit for too long, it's time to kind of bring it back up to maintenance and then into a surplus. So I felt really good. And now I'm kind of ready for like a goal change. Last night I was brainstorming. I'm like, what kind of challenge do we want? Because I don't have anything like specific that I'm necessarily working towards, but I always love having like a specific goal or challenge. I don't know what I think about like a 75 hard. I don't know. I need to look at those. I need to look at like that list of goals. And last night I'm like, do I want to try like the animal based diet? I don't know if you guys have done that at all and if you have any input but I went down like a rabbit hole on TikTok of people saying how good they feel with it how like hormones are balanced and all sorts of stuff and I'm like maybe that would be a fun challenge but also the meals look so boring like people all they eat is like steak eggs cottage cheese and cheese so I don't know I'm kind of just like in the mood for a new challenge and I'm like what what is next I don't know but clearly that Stairmaster session like the fact that I just did 60 minutes and I was on speed six and eight almost the entire time clearly just motivated me <laughs> and I'm like have this endorphin high clearly okay I'm gonna shut up now today is a little home update day I guess we would call it we are switching out all of our little poles to be black matte black instead of silver we're gonna see how it looks I think that we're gonna like it a lot because we're also getting on Monday, our pendant lights are going to be switched to be black. And I think that's gonna look really nice too. I think they're a little bit, wouldn't you say they're bigger than these ones? Yeah. They're gonna be a little bit bigger, black, and we're gonna just see how it brings the house together. Probably change that out as well once we find one. Another little update is we're doing our, well, Jay's painting that today, and then tomorrow we're going to be getting our new, what is that called entertainment center type vibe there and then we're gonna put those over here which we need to do right now to see how it looks and to get them out of the way for tomorrow okay how are we feeling about it i think it's gonna look good have a little contrast in here mm, I, like I like it too my little handyman
here's where I'm at with things. Just kind of put the same things that I already had on it when it was over under the TV. But I do think that we could probably make it a little bit better, honestly. Maybe a plant over here, maybe even like a lamp or something. I don't know, I need to look at Pinterest and get some like sideboard ideas because it just looked, I didn't want it to look too cluttered underneath the TV, but when it's over on this side, I, we have more height to work with. So I think we could do a little bit better with this and we've just kind of had the same few things. Like I don't want it to look like, just like clutter sitting on top of it. I want it to look very organized. For example, I just think that this entryway area, like I see no reason to change it because it just looks so put together and nice right here. So that's how I want the vibe of the sideboard to look as well. These honestly look pretty good too. I'm liking how we're looking on the shelves. What did you just get done saying? I kind of like painting. <laughs> we got some touch up work. Yeah. So crazy story. We, yeah. we had an AC person come out. They had to get up in the attic. Here's where our AC is in here. They fully put a hole. He yeah. was in the attic, you know, missed the beam and literally put a hole in the attic. And didn't say anything. Yeah, didn't that's what the craziest part is. Never didn't, told us. Didn't say a word. Never told us. A couple like weeks later, I look up. There's a freaking hole there. Yeah, because our ceilings are so tall, we didn't even notice at first. And then we went back in photos around that time he was here. Remember? Yeah. We went back in your photos. Yeah. And there wasn't. And then like a couple days after he left. There was. There was. I mean, that's literally the only way that it could have happened. Only I'm here thinking that we got a freaking giant possum in the attic. <laughs> Here's another little paint job up here. Look how crazy it looks with nothing up here it's gonna look so good tomorrow though i can't wait to see here's his paint job it's obviously i mean you can tell it's kind of darker just because it hasn't dried yet but it's gonna look really nice here soon looking good also here's my evening comfy cozy fit i was thinking i was gonna walk tonight i am be tired i honestly am so i think we're gonna shower and have a Chillax and night. Got some glasses. What do we think? I got a couple different pairs. Here is pair number one, the brand Air. I literally love their glasses. I had a couple pairs that one was like a little lopsided after a little bit, and then another one was like missing a metal piece on the side, and I still just kept wearing them because I loved them. But they're actually like pretty affordable for glasses. So here's pair number one. This is Lace Specs, pair number two. We've got some bling bling on the side. Some bling bling. Crazy enough, I ordered some like splurge glasses on Revolve, and they were Gucci. I returned the heck out of those because they literally felt just as like good of like these feel just as good of quality and they just feel like plastic glasses like i do not need some crazy expensive glasses when i pretty much just throw them in my purse or like throw them on top of my head anyways and then here's my wild card i i don't know what we think about these babies what do we what are we thinking this might be the brand air oh this is lace specs as well so the first ones were air and these ones were both lace specs do we have a preference? Do we love them all? I don't know. These ones are the ones that I'm just not really sure about. Come scared. Don't mind me. Just doing stuff around the house like this. Okay, it's like nearly impossible to even function with this on, but. sleep so well in some fresh sheets what is one housework thing that you guys wish someone else had to do for you or wish you didn't have to do comment down below i'm so interested i think jay would choose um pulling the weeds because he always seems to be the one that's doing that and he says that he hates doing it mine is so silly i literally hate putting the duvet cover back on the bed. I know that's ridiculous, but other than that, I don't really mind any of the housework stuff. I don't love putting away laundry, but other than that, like I don't really mind doing the dishes. Um, don't mind vacuuming, sweeping, anything like that. 
but I'm just curious what y'all's are because I know some people are like I literally hate doing the dishes or I hate doing laundry whatever it might be morning y'all here is my little workout fit I'm headed to do a sculpt class at camp I've got on this little CSB bandeau top and their little dip shorts and then this is a we wore what little shrug and my APL bag Ready for a good workout, but I think that we need to stop. It has been weeks since I've gotten a storm drink, so I think that's where I'm headed. Okay, just left storm. I got the cucumber lime one and I added coconut in it and it's actually really good. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle flavor. I always just ask them in there, do you recommend anything new? Cause I was doing the St. Croix or the mojito every time. Mm, yum that's good okay let's head to our workout I love taking Allie's classes if you're local and go to camp at all I love her sculpt Pilates classes so much just got home from my workout I felt so good I got this PR I was just opening up packages and I got PR from Lily's which I absolutely love Lily's no sugar added chocolate but they have a collab with sporty and rich which i've never gotten anything from i will say i don't know if i can get myself to wear something that says tasty and rich like i don't know i don't know i would go in public with that it does feel like it's gonna be like really cozy but oh that like seems a little strange i don't know tasty and rich also i have something to show you guys actually two things i kind of made a mistake on the front because I meant to do one of our engagement photos as the front one like one of these as the front one but whatever every year this is going to be my third time doing this for Jay and it's just a picture book of photos from the past year and I the last one that I did was way bigger honestly and for some reason I went through and I could have done so many more photos in here I did like a hundred something photos but this is like one of the best things to do as a gift. Jay loves it every single year. We've done it for some other people too for gifts. And it's from chat books. And I will also do, I don't know if I'll do it from chat books, but I'm gonna do probably a coffee, to, coffee table book of all of our wedding photos and engagement photos. But like, I just love looking through the past years of them. Oh my gosh. Look at this right here. <laughs> from our photo shoot. We gotta do that again this year too but just so many good memories in one book that we can look through and just reminisce a little bit. His birthday is on the 16th, so I made sure to order it with enough time to spare. And the other thing that I want to show you guys is, whoa, guess what is here? While I was at my workout class, Jay was here for them to bring the entertainment center in. No, y'all, I love it. I actually love it. I don't think that I'm gonna keep that little um picture frame right there that like goes through all the photos just because i'm not obsessed with like the screen right under the screen and i also just purchased on etsy some artwork i'm gonna try and figure out our picture frame like different artwork to go on there and have it just stay as one um because it right now it just rotates through stuff guys what do we think ideally in a perfect world we probably would have gotten something that filled up more of that wall but i actually i love it i think it looks really nice and now we can just kind of mess around with this so the tree i guess had to go right there because of this corner being too tight um which makes sense honestly because it's got to be centered around the tv i don't know exactly what we'll do with this tree does it look strange to go right there maybe not but we are thinking that we'll do a lamp on each side. We're gonna do some decor shopping this weekend and try and figure this out. This is honestly just like clutter right now because neither of these are gonna stay right there. I just was putting some different things on there to try and figure it out what we want to do. But I am so excited to decorate these shelves and now we have even more storage, which is so nice for things that are like different holiday decor and such because that's pretty much what fills up all of this. And like I have like old scrapbooks and like some different other things under there that don't need to be seen. And now we have more storage. Here's my outfit for today. It's a little CSB outfit, a little halter top moment and some fold over yoga pants. 
My sister's on her way over. She's gonna hang out for a little bit and she's actually gonna help me with some outfits for my France trip next week. Jay and I are going to France for a work trip and this is like the craziest work trip that I've ever been on because it's France, clearly have never been. So uh, I'm really excited for that. But my sister, I had Kenzie help me a little bit a couple weeks ago, but we still were like kind of unsure about the weather. So we got a couple outfits picked out um, and I think they might be like a little bit too hot for what we've got going on, but I think I'm still gonna bring a couple of them and my sister's gonna help out. And also we just wanted to see each other as well. So my sister just left. I can't wait to show you guys all my outfits that we put together because they look so good. I'm gonna do like a full pack of me for France, so I will have all of that in my next YouTube video, but I just made a Ninja Creamy and I put in both coconut and some walnuts in there and it gives it such good crunch. I did chocolate protein powder with this one. Mmm, so good. What you thinking right now? How good the living room looks. Right? Looks great, I love it. These are amazing. Really makes the entire space just feel that much homier. Yeah, it just feels very cozy in here. The, the fan. fan. It just, it's crazy how much cooler. <laughs> literally the whole house. Uh huh. Yeah, really, really liking how everything's coming. I think tomorrow you said what we gonna go decorate. Yep. Uh, shopping to decorate that stuff. Those cubby holes. And then we got pendant, new pendant lights going up. We got hopefully a new chandelier or some sort of lighting right there. We really need to like figure out what would look good there. Yeah. And then also one by the front door. Mm -hmm. so Coming together. Did you show them the new handles? Yep. They look good. They do. I don't really even like notice. I mean, looking at them, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. I don't walk out and like just notice. Yeah. Good. good work. This is the current state of the room. We've got all the different outfits <laughs> going on. It is looking crazy in here. But I think I'm going to end off this vlog and start a new one. I'm going to do both a weekend vlog and then also a little pack with me, I'm thinking. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this couple days of my life. Happy casual Friday and I will see you guys in my next one. Love ya.